Hey there, this is Mrs. Washburn, and I'm here to teach you a new skill in PowerPoint. Today's lesson is all about adding and changing pictures. So there are a lot of reasons to need a picture in your project, but where do I find pictures and how do I add them? That's what we're going to be answering today. First, it helps to have an idea about what picture you want and where you want to put it on the page. Let's say that I'm doing a research project about an animal, and my animal happens to be penguins. So I want to add a picture about penguins to my cover page, and I think that I want to put it up in the top corner. By the way, when you are watching this video, pay attention to where my uh, pointer is because I'm going to be showing you places to click and it's like really small details so you'll want to watch wherever my pointer goes to see what you want to click on when it's your turn. All right so we're doing a research project on penguins and I want to add a picture. I'm going to move my mouse up to the insert tab on the ribbon and I'm going to choose online pictures. Yours might have an option for clip art but once you click, the idea is the same either way. So I'm going to click online pictures and this is going to bring up a search bar. If you have clip art on yours, your search bar will be over on the side, but that's okay. Same idea. So I'm going to type in penguin because that's what I'm searching for. You put in the simplest keyword that you can for this one is penguin. Now let's see, I'm using this for a research project. So I'm probably not going to choose one of the ones that looks like a cartoon, I probably want something that looks like a real penguin. So I'm going to practice this. Click on this one. Click insert. I like this one. All right. My picture's in my slide, but now it covers up everything, which is not good. So now I need to make it smaller and put it in the right place. So my picture's already clicked on, and I can tell that because it's got this box around it. So these little squares are going to help us move it and make it smaller. And these little white squares all around are called handles, like how you pick up something by the handle. So you might have noticed as I moved my mouse around that my pointer changes. If I put it on one of these handles, it changes to a two-sided arrow, just like that. And if I move it over the picture itself, it turns into a four-sided pointer with or a four-sided arrow with the pointer right on it. So to make this smaller, I want to grab one of the corner handles. So I hovered my mouse over the handle and waited until it changed to the two arrow. And then I click on it, hold my click, and pull it toward the middle of the picture. When I let go, I'll have my new size picture there. To move it to a new place, I want that four arrow with the pointer again. So to move it, now I click and hold my click, so click and drag, and I'm going to put it up in the corner here. Now, I have plenty of room to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to. I grabbed that bottom corner handle again and clicked and dragged to make it a little bit bigger. When you're happy with the new size, that's it. You can click outside of it, and your picture is in. So there, you learned a new skill. You know how to find a picture, how to add a picture, and how to make it the size that you want and in the place you want.